Brayden, when we first went on our first date at 16, I had no idea that one day I would be your wife. You've quickly become my best friend, my confidant, and my favorite person to eat maranchito with. I love you so much. You're my best friend and my biggest supporter. I'm looking forward to spending every day together, celebrating milestones together, and growing old together. I promise to love you and like you even when you're hangry. I promise to have a life filled with love, laughter, and many, many dogs. I promise to love you with the same devotion, determination, and tenderness you've shown me. I vow to support you through our hills and valleys. I promise that together we will honor God through everything. Sarah, we're getting married. Some days I still wake up and I'm amazed that God brought you into my life. I remember our freshman year of high school where I saw this cute girl on the bus uh, of our church trip and you were wearing a KU sweatshirt, a white headband, and your hair was in a double braid. I remember getting home from that trip and telling one of my friends that I definitely liked you. Though uh, through our mutual friends, you clearly communicated that you were not interested. For both our sakes, I'm glad that you did. Those were my pre-Jesus years and I definitely had some maturing to do before I would have been ready for a real relationship. Two years later, I picked you up for our first date and my, the rest is history. Having you as a part of my life has been and is the best thing ever. I love that we giggle together at our own jokes that no one else finds funny. I love dreaming about the future with you, where we're going to live, where we're going to travel, and of course, how many dogs we're going to have along the way. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I pronounce you husband and wife. No longer two, but one. One in destiny, one in interest, one in love, and one in life. Braden, you may kiss your bride. May I be the first to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Chafin Peterson. <laughs> It's like it. In your face. Ready? 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 Yeah. <laughs> Brayden, I've always thought my sister only deserves the best. So let's just say when I first met him, I was very skeptical. <laughs> I was that overprotective sister who didn't know who this bearded 16 year old boy was <laughs> and what he was doing in my house. <laughs> and I was like, is this man good enough for my sister? But after about Year. <laughs> I knew this man was actually the real deal. He always thinks of others, especially my sister, and I'm sure we all see how much love he has for her just the way he looks at her. Even though Brayden has terrible jokes, as we all know, if you know Brayden, <laughs> Brayden is also really wise. I don't know if it's the beard that makes him so wise, but he really gives the best advice, and I like going to him for everything, too. Congratulations, Brayden and Sarah. You finally did it. I think we can all agree that Sarah looks absolutely stunning tonight. And we're still a little bit surprised that Brayden figured out how to keep her for seven years. <laughs> I've had the privilege of knowing Sarah since we were both kids. Sarah is a successful leader. She's brilliant, fun, 
driven, loves Jesus, and has always made everyone around her better. I've had the joy of knowing Brayden for the past eight years, for being in a small group together in high school, to interning at Life Church together, to enjoying games of poker, life talks over cigars, and everything in between. The thing I know about Brayden is that he's always been a high achiever. He's bold, caring, and a friend to everyone he meets. And Brayden, the most important advice I can give you is this. Always remember these words. You're right, Sarah. <laughs> Serve her and love her as well as you already do. Brayden and Sarah, you have a room full of family and friends who are cheering you on every step of the way. Raise a glass and celebrate this beautiful couple with me. Cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Chafin Peterson.